B Goad M104 right here. What's up dudes, Chooch back with another one. Today we're gonna be looking at that Bego M104. I wanna give y'all an actual good review on this little thing, up close on it with a good camera. Kinda of discussing my thoughts on this little wheel after about 80 miles on it, dude. So I just hit 80 miles on this little thing and I've been predominantly trail riding it. Surprising work. I, I didn't think I would like to trail ride this wheel, but that's been my kind of my main thing with it, dudes. I don't know why, it's kind of like my little addiction now. For the past three days, all I've done is go find trails to ride on the M104. I literally am loving it. But this, this little thing has its caveats. It um, has its quirks, it has its features I like, but there's some things on it uh, that just may not, it might be perfect for the right person with the right mindset, but there's some people out there that might get this. I already know there, there's some people in the community that would buy this and just be like turds about it. But, <laughs> uh, hold on, let me adjust y'all. Is that good? Y'all good? Y'all chilling? All right. We're good, we're good. That's good, look at that, that's beautiful. All right, so M104, let's look at this little thing. Let's talk about it. Um, this thing is wild, dudes. It, it's weird. It's weird, it's wild, it's wacky. This is a, basically a 10 inch electric unicycle. They say 10 inch because the actual diameter of the motor is 10 inches, but if you add the tire in there, it's really an 11 inch electric unicycle. But it's called the M104. So this is the fourth generation of what's known as the M10 electric unicycle. You go back and look at like the M10-3, the M10-2, they look like total, uh, I mean, it just, they look like shit compared to this one, I'll be honest with you. It doesn't look like something you really would want to buy. They're just like novelty little electric unicycles. If you were into electric unicycles and you just wanted a small little wheel to fool around on for some reason, the M10-3 was there. When this came out, it really turned a lot of heads. When I first saw this, and like me, including my buddy that rides motorcycles, we were both like, dude, that thing looks rad, bro. Like even him, I, my buddy that he only rides motorcycles and he's still looking to get his first electric unicycle. He saw this one and was like totally stoked on it. More so than any other wheel out there. Literally, he's seen the S22, he's seen the Master, the only one he's talked about every time I've seen him is this wheel right here, the B-Goat M104. He's like, what is that little blue one with like the dirt bike tire on it, is what he says every time. But it's, it's sick, dude. So this thing, basically what you're getting is like, this is like a coffee cup in comparison to the size of it. Like this thing is tiny, bro. Like this, it's small. It doesn't seem like it should be something that could go nearly as fast as it can go. I say fast, 25 miles an hour is your top speed on this thing, guys. You gotta think though, the wheel diameter is 11 inches, bro. So it's not like you're on like a 20 inch wheel cruising down the road. So like if you're on like a 20 inch wheel cruising 25, it feels pretty slow. Just cause it's a bigger wheel, it's just a smoother ride, you know what I mean? But with a, a small wheel like the M104 we have right here, this, you gotta have the, 
you gotta have the right mindset, man, when you ride this thing. You can't buy this wheel and think, oh man, well this thing should ride better than my Gotway RS. Let me let me spend a thousand dollars and get the M104 because Chooch told me to buy it. And then I'm gonna be mad at him because it's not better than my Gotway RS. Don't do that, okay? I'm not telling you this wheel is better than the V12 and the RS than any of those wheels. I am telling you that with the proper mindset, if you buy this thing and you go into it thinking, hey, I'm gonna get this little wheel right here and ride it the best I possibly can, even though it has its limitations and see what I can do with it and see how much fun I can have with the little thing. That's how you gotta think about this. You can't buy this thinking, okay, this thing's gonna outperform every other wheel I've ever bought, because it's just not the case. And you're gonna get this wheel, and you might be disappointed if you're thinking that. But for a lot of people out there, and including, including new riders, this is the crazy thing about this wheel, guys. It's literally perfect for new riders. Like, I've thought about it, I've thought it through. For 1,150 bucks is what this thing costs, guys. You really can't beat it. I mean, for a new rider out there, I feel like the pedals are high enough to be safe for a new rider. For for what you're gonna be riding on, on, for a new rider, you're gonna be mainly riding roads in the city and stuff like that. So your pedal clearance doesn't matter much. These, this is my hand right here in comparison, right? Like, this is my hand completely spread out. You see, that's not a ton of pedal clearance compared to other wheels out there. So one thing, if you're trail riding this wheel, guys, you gotta be real careful and you have to ride it in a completely different way than a lot of wheels out there. You just gotta flare your pedals up, you gotta be on it, you gotta be looking at your obstacles on the side, you gotta jump and bunny hop over stuff. It's a ton of fun. It really is a ton of fun, but it's a very active ride. It's not something that you're just gonna be getting on and cruising smoothly. You gotta be bending your knees and working with this little thing to where you're 90% of the machine. Basically, this thing right here is just, getting you across the ground. Your upper body's doing all the like the suspension work, your power pads right here are engaging to get over your, like the little anomalies in the ground, the roots, the rocks, the, uh, you know, the little lips and jumps in the ground. You have fun on it when you add power pads to it, guys. So I got a link below for side pads, guys. Those are great power pads. There's a, actually a 10% off down there below if you, if you use that link. Um, I really like those. These are a pair of Kai pads right here. I just had these sitting in a bucket down there and I remembered about them um, when I was sitting inside. I was like, dude, I got blue power pads that like look like they'd be perfect on that M10. And they really are, man. They're, they're perfect, but they're called Kai pads. K-A-I pads. Um, I don't have a link with them or anything like that. Um, maybe I probably should set that up uh, after saying something, but these these are great. These are his smaller pads uh, from like a few years ago, um, like actually like a year ago. And he makes way bigger ones now. I'm talking ones that have like use like four times the amount of material um, for like the masters and stuff. So where you really you got a lot of material right here to get your foot under on the newer pads, guys. Uh, but these are perfect for this little wheel because you just don't need much. You just need a little lip to get your shoe under to really make this thing dance and do exactly what you wanted to do on the trails. I mean, guys, you get, so the crazy thing about this, another, another key point right here, guys, is this, is for your first day of riding this thing, it's gonna feel extremely fast. Like it is going to, your first day of riding this little thing, just because it is a small wheel, you get on it, it has a top speed of 25 miles an hour, you're gonna get on it and be like, what the hell, dude? This thing, this thing is, it's crazy fast, and this is almost dangerous how fast this little thing is. But the weird thing is, guys, it's like everything else. It's like how you're able to ride a unicycle so good right now if you're watching this. It's, it's crazy how fast the human mind adapts to stuff and the human body and how we get used to stuff. Even how quickly we can get used to riding something this ridiculous. I mean, this is ridiculous. And there's no reason a human, when we have bicycles with full suspension, we got unicycles with full suspension, there's no reason that a human being should be out there, you know, trying to master something like this. But it is a blast, guys. And I tell you what, 
riding this on the trails today, I had way more fun than any other wheel I could take out there. I mean, maybe, maybe ride it. I was thinking like, I really was kind of wishing I had the V12 high torque there simply because of the nature of the trails and how much time I have on that wheel. I thought I would be like, man, I was like, man, I could have done that trail in like half the time if I had the V12 high torque. But this one is fun in itself, dudes. Like I, I had a total blast on this little wheel. So if you have the right mindset, the M10 4 can be a great trail ride wheel, but I haven't even gotten to the final, the final part yet. This is the best wheel for the inner city. You can't beat this thing. For the inner city guys, for if you're commuting, doing inner city errands, going to work, whatever you gotta do, if you're fooling with a bicycle right now, this is the answer. Literally, this is the angel um, answer to the prayers. This is the, I'm not kidding you dude, it looks ridiculous, and you may think I'm wrong, but this is it. Think about it. You got, in this small package right here, 20 miles of range. You can go 25 miles an hour and you can pick it up. This is how tiny it is. So, it's a hack, dude. It's literally a hack for getting around the inner city. It really is. It, it, you, you cannot beat this. You can take it in everywhere you go. You don't have to worry about locking it up outside and coming back and having a brake line missing, a wheel missing, a seat missing off your bike. You keep this with you all the time. It's compact. Shoot, you could even put like a little air tag tracker in this thing and be good to go. But this, for the inner city guys, I've been trying to trail ride it and, and have fun doing stuff you're not supposed to do with this. This was built for the inner city. If it can ride trails and ride over roots and rocks and ride through the Rocky Mountains, think about this in like New York City, dudes. It's gonna just, dude, you can't beat this. You really can't. And you, those electric unicycles I have over there that can go 50 miles plus on a charge and go 40 miles an hour plus, you simply don't need that in a city. If you have to literally wake up out of your house, you got 15 minutes to get down to work, you gotta run a few miles, and then when you get off work, it's pretty much dark when you come outside and you just wanna get back home, this is what you need. It's only $1,000. You're gonna save that money in parking fees within like two months. This is what you need. If you can get over the fact of you looking like a total clown, like if you're a grown man riding in a business suit, bro, you're going to, it's gonna take some balls to get on this thing <laughs> and ride it into work. But if you can overcome it and you can, um, you can pull it off, dude, you got, you got a hack. I'm telling you what, you straight up got a hack right here. And it, um, you're gonna love it, bro. I, I, I seriously love this little wheel. I think it's perfect. And the fact that you can trail ride it and do basically what you're not supposed to do with this thing is awesome. Yeah, you can get an off-road knobby tire on this thing. I think they mainly did that just because it looked cool. I don't think they were really expecting people to trail ride this damn thing um, on Rocky Mountain mountain bike trails and stuff. But the fact that it can be done without tearing anything up, without messing a board up or anything like that, I've had no motor slippage, no problems, no nothing on this thing, guys, and I've been very hard on it. I have more miles on this thing now than I do on my T4. So that, that show is right there. Like I've been, and I've been hard on it, so. Anyways, dudes, it's been Chooch. This is my b Gold M104 tabletop review. This little wheel is it's just amazing. I had no idea that I would be riding on something this, this small and riding mountain bike trails on it, dude. I was just thinking today, I'm like, I'm like, what is life, dude? I'm out here riding on a, a 10 inch miniature electric unicycle, like legitimately rode all the way up here to the damn trails to go ride this thing around all day. Uh, and I had a blast doing it. So that's where we're at with life right now. So anyways, it's been Chooch. If y'all enjoyed the video, throw it a thumbs up and I'll see you dudes in the next one. Y'all take it easy.
So I went and got a new camera guys. I got the uh, a GoPro Hero 9 with the Max lens mod and then I bought the media mod as well and hooked it up on this. And tell me if you like the footage on this. This won't be as good for like capturing the trail riding. You get really more of an immersive experience uh, with the 360 camera trail riding, but the quality of this should be a lot better. And I really appreciate you guys hitting the links and um, using the Amazon links and all that because that's the way I was able to buy this camera right here and so you know huge shout out to all the people that have bought wheels through the links and, and all that i really appreciate that guys honestly it um it makes doing this worthwhile because it takes money to do this guys it really does it takes money for the equipment things go wrong i break shit all the time i dude, i've destroyed um I'm, i haven't really talked about it but i've destroyed like 13 of those um 360 cameras I've, I've broken so many of those 360 mods just from accidentally hitting them against the ground and whatnot that I had to come up with something else. And um, I'm thinking about using this GoPro for more stuff in the future. Uh, they're about to release the GoPro 11 Mini, and you can actually put the Max Lens mod on that. And I think that's just going to be the ultimate, ultimate electric unicycle um, filming rig. But anyways, dudes, this is I'm going to leave the last part of this just. Um, raw footage of the actual unicycle riding around and so you can hear the sounds of the, that knobby tire on the pavement and you can just kind of hear how this wheel sounds when it's rolling around with a good microphone just raw riding around and the last few seconds are just going to be just the wheel and just the sound of the wheel but I appreciate you guys watching appreciate you using those links and I will see you dudes in the next one